This is Sir Tap Tap stupefying S sound spectacular. Because I can make S sounds without it sounding like shit. Yes, that's right. I said it. S. Yes. It's so exciting to have a new mic that it doesn't suck. I got a cheapo uh, 26 buck mic, um, well, headset thingy. By the way, I have no idea what's going on in this game anymore. Actually, I never really did, but less so now. But I have a new mic, and that's all that matters. It does not suck, um, and it doesn't. It does lots of things that are S sounds. Is that a good thing? Well, the more you know. All oh, right, you can climb on walls. I seriously have not played this since the last time I recorded a video. What the? F okay, was that? What? Okay. Okay. Crap. Uh. Okay. I don't seem to have anything that can do anything there. I need super missiles. Super missiles. Fortunately, my knowledge of Metroid should get me through this, maybe. I don't remember throwing bananas in Metroid. That that may be in a new introduction in this game. At least I don't recall Samus ever throwing copious amounts of bananas across the screen. Does that hurt? Oh, yes it does. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Let's not do that again. Also, if I boil alive while recording this video, that's because... I A, have to turn off my AC to record so it's not really loud, and B, these things are really padded and they're all warm and fuzzy. It's like wearing frickin' earmuffs. And it's all it's all cushy and everything, and they're very comfortable, but it gets really hot, but it won't be summer for much longer. Oops. So, oh well. I honestly have no idea what the hell is going on. I mean, I know I'm a snail, and I'm shooting bananas out of my eyes. But beyond that, I'm pretty much in the dark about what's going on. And I know that I remember that bananas break walls. I, I don't know why. Please don't ask why. But they do. So let's go break some banana walls. Breaking banana walls is a great way to spend a Sunday evening. But anyway, you might expect more videos. I won't. I won't commit to that, but doing videos is a lot less painful when I know that my sound, my voice, my everything will not suck as much. So that is awesome. And these are pretty damn cheap. These are, what are these? These are Gamecom, some random numbers style headphones. So Gamecom, some random numbers, you know, just Google Gamecom and stick some random numbers there and you'll find my headset, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't think there's that many sets of random numbers. I mean, there's definitely a finite set of random numbers. Definitely. More like indefinitely. Health! I remember these give you health. And I remember that I'm dot. Whoa! Well, learn something new every day. Okay, let's try that door. Well, I guess it's not really a door, it's just kind of an access point. Or a space. Sweet, we can hurt these. Up or down? Let's go down. Oh, we have... I forgot, we have a map. Parker is clawing my leg. Yeah, save point. Excellent. Excellent. I was worried when I got these that since um, it's supposed to be a unidirectional mic and all this jazz... Is that a dog shooting lasers at me? No, wait, that is a cat shooting lasers at me. I apologize. That's much more reasonable. Um, I don't like this map. Okay. But yeah, I was worried I would have to record the game audio separately from my voice, which would make it sound a little better, and I could tweak the game volume in post, which would be nice in that sense, but I don't want to do that, because that's a pain in the tuckus. So, I'm not. So, sorry if you want that. If, if I notice a problem, which I didn't in a test recording, um, I can definitely do that and, you know, make the sound a little, sound a little better. But I would rather not because that adds time. And a big part of the reason I do these is because they're really easy and short to do. If all of a sudden I have to do all of this post processing, you know, I will do it a lot less. I used to have to do it in combination of me having an even crappier mic and me not knowing what I was doing. But, oh hey, it's another snail. Don't worry about me, snaily. I'm an ice snail. And these ice guys and icicles can't ice me in the ice hole. Okay, it's good to know. I get it. I take it we're getting ice powers. I take it we're getting ice power now. Ice snail. 
13%. 13%! Crap. Well, I take it we can go suck on these icicles now. Excellent. Icicles are delicious. They taste like sharp. Okie dokie. Yeah! We are invincible. We got the frickin'... I don't think there was an, ever an ice suit, was there? And Actually, no, that kind of rings a bell. There's definitely an ice beam in Metroid. At least in Super Metroid. I don't 100% know what was in the original Metroid because I never beat it. In fact, I'm not sure if I ever beat, got to the first boss even. I quit that game really quick. It was not enjoyable for me. Not having played it, you know, in the late 2000s. I'm sure, you know, if I was playing on the NES when it was new, when I was like negative two years old, that would have been awesome, but... I didn't, and I apologize for that. I also don't know where I'm going. I know there are some places that I needed Ice Snail to be. Oh, hey. It's like T-Junction. It's T-Bone Junction. Have you tried hitting the C key yet? It lets you shoot while holding still. Well, okay then. It's not strafing. That's, I guess, the opposite of strafing? I don't know. But that is good to know, maybe, because this is... I'm sure that this knowledge means that there's going to be a boss at some point that requires that. Because that's just how it's going to be. It's going to be all Contra up in this thing. Oh well. I think the ice crap is down here, isn't it? Okay, that stuff still hurts. It's nice that the ice guys don't, though. Because you can't kill them, so they're annoying. I could probably stop constantly firing. Well, not anymore because there's stuff to kill. Don't you hate it when there's nothing to kill? It's just ridiculous. It's redonkular tactic. Anyway, this might have been a poor choice of a game to do, because I, no I still have nothing to say. The icicles in this room. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is where we stopped off because we didn't have the ice power or something. Ah! What? What was that? Oh. Hacks. I call hacks. This is so hard. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Whoa. Oops. Right, I forgot. Going down is generally a lot easier than getting up, so... Ah, yeah! I didn't really intend to fall through that like that, but we got a helix fragment. Not sure what those do. Probably unlocks the secret ending where we take off our shell or something. If this is following Metroids, sort of. Hey, it's Tetris Land! Everybody loves Tetris Land. Or alternately... Lots of other NES games that looked pretty much like this. Fire and ice guys in perfect harmony trying to murder me. Oh, awesome. Oh, there's a third kind of door. I mean, a fourth kind of door now. Well, that's just fan frickin' tacular. Let's go. Ow! I forgot you fall when you touch those guys. Okie dokie. Door! Yeah! We got a door. Oh, this is totally boss time. Be careful, Snaily. I have heard some scary stuff happening in the next room. Yeah, it's totally boss time. And I'm sorry, I keep reverting to this voice whenever there's a voiceover moment. There's a lot of noms. Um. Well, that's terrifying. Oh, God! I was... I was not expecting that to happen. That... That is the last thing I would have expected to ever happen. Ever. Ever. In my entire life. Just eat bananas! Through your eyes! Get some potassium up in your, you know, corneas. It's, it's good for your death. Yeah. This boss is really not very hard at all. Ow. Okay, he's got an, he got all pissed off because I said that. But I don't care, because I can say piss now. Because it doesn't make horrible S sounds. And I murdered your face. Are there supposed to only be four bosses? I'm not sure where I heard that, but whoa. Whoa! Holy freaking cow! That is ridiculous. That is awesome. We got freaking rainbow waves of murder. The only thing better than amber waves of grain is rainbow waves of murder. And we're in freaking... Moltres place. I can't think of the lava place in Metroid. 
Oh well. This rainbow gun is awesome though. Um, okay. Sna wait, Snail Town. We've come full circle. Oh, sweetness. I kind of like the exploding walls. Normally I wouldn't like that, but in this game, since the shots penetrate walls, it's a lot easier to find stuff that way. In the original Metroid, it was a lot of a, it was a big pain to actually check every wall like that. But this makes it a lot easier. Cave snail scares me. I'm staying over here. Okay, I don't have enough voices to keep making up stuff. I need it. Huh, apparently these don't hurt either. Did my color change or something, or was I always this color? Oh right, Ice Snail did that to me. IRK Snail Thorgo Borgo. I knew there'd be something here. 21%. Okay, we're not collecting all the items, so I'll just go ahead and say that. At least I severely doubt we will be. Unless we just find a whole crap ton all at once. Take this helix fragment. It's dangerous to go alone. It's but one piece of Isis, the god snail? We have a god snail? Since, since when is there a god snail? And why is its name Isis? Is there like an Osiris, the devil snail? Mare... Cardale. I, I don't know why I couldn't pronounce that, but I no longer remember what word that was. I think I just murdered another snail. I'm pretty sure that's like a crime. This is not Snail Town. This is like. Oh, it's like the general area of Snail Town. I knew there was something weird about that tree. It was made of explosive blocks. And it ate my face. What? 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 Okay, we found us. What? The... Okay, that just makes my head hurt. Never mind. Let's just. There was something suspicious. Oh wait, let's try and go up this tree. Oh, lame. Oh, bah. Oh wait, I think we can go up that. It's just that I don't have the sticky stay uppy ability. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, can I murder that fish? No, I can't. Okay, let's... Wait, I've been here before. Let's talk to the snail. Hey, snaily. What's up? Ah! Okay. That was kind of scary. If you're a snail. I like how I did that before, actually, and I completely forgot about it. Because that's definitely an area I've been before. Ah! Murder. Okay. It's a trap. I get it. Aw, oh, you son of a butt. Oh well. I hope you don't get annoyed by the constant firing noise. It's very hard to not constantly fire in this game. It's just... It just happens. And I'm not stopping. Anyway, I think there is a thing, a door that we couldn't open over here. I take it these will open the super missile doors. You know, the, uh, the, blue, the green green ones having difficulty with colors is there a super missile door here and I don't know what the brown doors are so there was definitely no brown door in Metroid did I go here before I did not helix fragment number eight how many of these are there a lot, obviously, but still. Okay, where the crap was... Wait, did I always have five hearts? Did I get more hearts? Shows how much I know. I have no idea what's going on. At all. At any point in time. Uh, oh right, this is where I got ice snail power. I'm going in complete circles, I apologize. Is there a map button? And I like, no, I can't click. Okay, we'll just go over to the left, and we're gonna hope that there's stuff there for reasons. Actually, my ears are kind of boiling and my back kind of hurts, so we're gonna just. Well, we found a save point. We're gonna call it quits right here, and next time I'll try to figure out where the crap I'm supposed to go, because I have absolutely no idea what I am doing. But we're like halfway through the game because we killed the bosses, I guess. 
Parker's knocking stuff over, so I should probably stop. <laughs>